G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's an algebra question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. The graph of the polynomial p of x equals x to the fifth plus ax to the fourth plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e has five distinct x-intercepts, one of which is at 0, 0. Which of the following coefficients cannot be 0? a, b, c, d, e. All right, so p of x is x to the fifth plus ax fourth, blah, 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 and so on. So to which of those four, five coefficients definitely can't be 0? And we're told that it has five distinct zeros. One of them is itself x equals 0. It goes with the origin. All right, well, right away, my brain says, OK, I'm doing something about the zeros of a polynomial. I must be talking about factors of the polynomial. So if the five zeros are, say, uh, 0, r, s, t, and u, then I know that p of x must be able to be written in the form x minus 0, x minus r, x minus s, x minus t, and x minus u, something like that. All right. And I know if I expand that out, I would get x to the fifth plus ax to the fourth plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e. And the question knows, wants to know which of these particular numbers for sure cannot be zero. We'll be told in the question, hang on, uh, we're told it has five distinct roots. OK, so u, t, s, r, and zero are all different. OK, they're definitely different. All right, great. So then what am I going to do here? Um, well, I've done something. I've kind of you know, done strategy number one already, engage in successful flailing by doing something I've realized that felt like appropriate for the question. Um, how much further can I go? Well, I suppose I could expand this out. Um, seems a little scary, but maybe I can do it. Like, uh, for example, the coefficient of x to the fifth, I'll get x times, have to choose x and x and x and x. That really will be x to the fifth. Uh, what about the coefficient of x to the fourth? How do I get that? Um, how I get the coefficient of x to the fourth is I have to choose this x. That's not going to go away. But to choose, what, uh, three x's in here, this x, this x, the x, and the constant term, negative u. So I'll get negative u, x to the fourth. I'll also get x, 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 and negative t, x, 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 and negative s, negative r, and that's it. So I'll get a... Um, a negative u, a negative t, a negative s, a negative r, all times x to the fourth. So there's the coefficient of x to the fourth. Ugh. Um, can I tell that it has to be non-zero? Mm, I can't tell personally right now. Uh, that's questionable to me. All right, what about the coefficient of x to the cubed? Ugh, I've got to choose an x, an x, and an x, and then do all these individual products. That seems too hard. Um, OK, what about the constant term? Let's just ignore that. <laughs> that's all that. The coefficient of x are hard. What's the constant term of this thing have to be? Uh, oh, there is no constant term. That x means there's no constant term. Oh, e is 0. Oh, um, OK, what about the term that begins with x? In fact, you know, maybe that's doable. Maybe I can think about the term that begins with x, uh, that has the coefficient of just the term x. Oh, I can. I can totally think about it. It has to come from here and choosing the constant terms in each of these factors. Ah, oh, I wonder if I can say anything brilliant about that. That might help with the question. That one seemed awkward. I bet x squared is awkward. This one doesn't feel that awkward. feels doable. Hmm, I'm betting my uh, hopes on that one right there. OK, think about what the coefficient of x is when you expand this. And I'm wondering, does that say something about the nature of the coefficient d? Think about it. Mull on it. And we've mulled on it for a while. Check the answer I'm going to write up in the essay that goes with this video. We can compare notes. All right, have fun with it. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.